It's two titans clashing in the sport. Every generation has the fight they want to see. March 8, 1971, it was Ollie Frazier. Then it was Ernst Hagler. You had Bo Holyfield. You had the Lennox Lewis Mike Tyson fight. Every generation has the fight they have to see, that you want to see. This fight was no different. Andy Murray, cage fight from Woolwich versus Andy Sparks from Deptford, GB. It was a fucking classic. Sparks versus Lee Murray. Yes, people. Another authentic good story. The big fight. Lee Murray from Woolwich. Notorious cage fighter. Also known as the mastermind behind the biggest robbery in British history. Versus Andy Sparks Wanogo. XGB boss, RIP, the assassin. I wasn't there. I heard a lot of rumors about this fight. Um, a lot of people was telling me um, that Sparks got knocked out. I heard that a few times. Didn't really pay too pay it too much attention. The only people present, the only people present at this fight, which took place in Greenwich, um, outside the old hospital, was Lee Murray, Sparks, someone who was in Lee Murray's vehicle, who never got out. At no point did he get out of the vehicle. And also present was Paul, Sparks' older brother, who was sitting in the vehicle waiting for his brother. Um, unfortunately, he was wheelchair bound. So he also couldn't get out. We had a bird's eye view. And I spoke to him three days ago. And he gave me the A to Z on what took place that day, how it went down. So, Sparks and Andy, Sparks knew Lee from Felton. They was in Felton together. I'm told that he was in there at the same time as myself. I don't remember it. I was told he was quiet in there. Skinny. Not really significant. So what happens is, Sparks is with Paul. They pull up outside the hospital and Sparks goes to handle a little business. When he comes back, he bumps into Lee. Paul's watching. It seems at first the conversation is respectful. However, I'm told that Sparks then positioned himself in a boxing stance, Southpaw. He wasn't actually a Southpaw, but he could fight Southpaw, but he's going to a Southpaw stance um, on a thing of make your move. You know, like that? It got heated. Lee threw first punch. Sparks retaliated. Then Lee tried to grab him and hold him. So they're scuffling. Paul's watching this from the vehicle. Frustrated, he can't even get out of the car. But he's watching. And he eases him off. Let's off a combo. This is Lee Murray. He's coming back with combos of his own. They're going at it. Left, right, left, right. 
I'm told Sparks slipped under one of Lee Murray's punches. Bang! Straight on the chin. Lee Murray was on his ass. Sparks just looked at him. Turned. Got in the vehicle. Paul asked him, who's that? He's on some dickhead. Lee Murray from Woolwich. Started the motor. Kept it moving. It's that simple. Sparks didn't get knocked out. Sparks touched Lee Murray on his chin after a little battle and left him sitting on his ass. R.I.P. Andy Sparks with no go. Big up same way. Lee Murray. Peace.